It's October 5th. I got permission on this private piece to shoot a doe. Uh, I hunted here last year. I only ever had one deer the whole time in shooting range with the old setup that we had. So I'm sitting in the landowner's tree stand now. A lot of the deer were in here last year. I only have permission on the one side of the street to hunt. Uh, some of the better hunting property that he has is on the other side, but he he hunts himself, so he likes to go over there. Uh, there is a Peabald doe out here, uh, as of last year anyway. I don't, I'm hoping she's still around. Uh, ideally, that would be the one that we're looking for, but any doe will do. Uh, it's not too windy. It's about 70-some degrees out yet. Overcast, little drizzle. But uh, got an apple tree to my left. Apples are dropping, so dinner bell's ringing. Hopefully it turns out. Hoping to have them deer come out. Kind of right here somewhere, 20 yards. There's a couple scrapes right there already. There's a really good trail that those deer are using to go from this woods out to the corn and hay that are on this field on the edge. So as you can see, it's pretty thick in here. It's going to be very limited on shots. to the right. Some openings back here. There wasn't too many deer in here last year on this right side. Everything was kind of to the left. Not my tree stands. But there's a ladder stand and then this old rickety tree stand above it. I didn't want to hang a stand this year. I don't have to. If I can fill the tag in the first couple days of hunting out here, it's not worth the time. The stand's the best location. It's just not in great shape at all. Uh, it's a little sketch, but sometimes you gotta be sketchy to get deer. Just had a doe come in right under the tree. It happened so fast, I couldn't even turn the camera on. Just right under me. Shot her right there. The shot was a little forward. The, the cam on my bow hit my knee. Uh, so I think it deflected, but I can see blood right where the arrow should be. I watched her run. I can't. I couldn't see her or hear her fall, but she was only, I don't know, about 75 yards to my left. It's so thick in there, and there's a valley. I lost her, so hopefully it's a lethal shot. I'm just worried because it was so far forward, but... Definitely broke her leg. Yes. Got it done. It's been tough here. A lot of hunts out here in the last year. Finally got that doe. Yes. It's been about an hour. I'm going to get down. Try and see if my arrow is 
things down there. And just check for blood in that immediate area. Not gonna get too crazy. Looking for her, I wanna give her some time. got blood on the back half. Uh, the front half's a little tacky to the touch, like fatty material. The deer was quartering so hard. I tried tucking it like a lung come out in front of the leg on the other side. Uh, it was the only shot I was going to get. And the cam, when I released, hit my knee. So I know the shot went forward of that a little bit, but it looked like it was like top of heart, just behind the front left leg. So I, and it was a pass through. So I'm hoping that we hit some heart or something, but there's quite a bit of blood in the woods as far as I can see, uh, just from where I was, but I really need to give this deer quite a bit of time to let it expire. Uh, I mean, there's pools of blood, but I've seen this before, and the deer walks away with a broken leg, and you'll see it in a couple of months. But uh, I don't know. Definitely got me thinking now, but it's always a struggle. Be nice if something was easy for once, but it's just so goddamn thick in there, and I can't really do what I would like to do based on what I'm allowed to do from the landowner, so it makes it even tougher. But I finally had the opportunity, and you know, I'm taking it. I struggled out here last year. All the deer were so far away, they never came in the woods. But I seen deer, and then it got to the point where they were only nocturnal later in the season, when everybody in this neighborhood started hunting really hard, so. I'm gonna text the landowner, let him know what I got going on, and see what his thoughts are. All right, so I got permission, well, talk to the landowner. He has permission to Cross the one property line if we have to. So he's just on his way back here. Uh, he's run some errands and then uh, he really wants to look for it tonight and can't really help me in the morning. So I kind of need him uh, to help me out. So we're just going to wait about 20 minutes for him to get home and we're going to walk down there and see if we can find it. Got the deer recovered. I couldn't do an in field like walk up to it. Uh, landowner he was in a hurry so we had to get this thing out as fast as possible while he could help me just a big old doe filling that freezer I'm jacked first sit in Wisconsin it's awesome landowners jacked he actually gave me permission to shoot a big buck now so I'm really looking forward to that opportunity and you know these are just such amazing animals I have a lot of respect for this deer right now and I'm going to put it to good use. 
but this is why we do this. So, it uh, doesn't look like she had much of a bag, uh, and there's definitely no fawns with her. So, I'm just assuming just a big old, old doe. Uh, so, that's what we want to get out of the, the herd down there. He's got a lot of crop damage. Uh, there's a lot of CWD in this area. So, I'm going to do my part and I'm going to donate uh, the head for research tomorrow and get that tested to see if it has CWD or not. But, uh,. Yeah, just amazing opportunity. Super stoked that it was the first sit also. So, things are finally looking up. I was in Missouri on Monday. I mean, I got 5,000 miles on the truck already looking for deer this year between two states and uh, here in Wisconsin. But uh, I couldn't, couldn't be more excited for this opportunity right now.